Hey everyone, it's Pulse with Pioneer, and today we're talking about the DDJ Ergo. It's a great little controller that Pioneer's just released, and I wanted to talk to people about, uh, you know, how to set it up with virtual, how to set up a virtual LE Pro as well as Tractor, because I've had lots of questions about how to get this done, how to get everything mapped, and how to get all the sound configuration set up. So, uh... We're going to go straight out of the box. I've got to Windows 7 running here. It'll run on any flavor of Windows, um, XP, Vista, or Windows 7. And that's in both 32 and 64-bit, except for Windows XP 64. So uh, out of the box, you get your controller and the CD. Now I've got my controller plugged in USB, and I'm going to run the virtual installer. So virtual LE, like I said, included in the box. I'm going to use the typical installation, hit install. And that's it. So the installer is complete. I don't want to launch Virtual DJ when I complete the, uh, the installer. So I'm going to uncheck that and finish. And the reason for that is I also need to install the ASIO drivers for the DDJ. So I load those up and click OK, agree, install, and we're done. So that is basically it. If this was all you wanted to do, you want to run virtual, you are now good to go into virtual. So let's go ahead and do that. Now included on your uh, in your package is a, a serial number. Um, so you need to install that. And once you've got your, your serial in, you find yourself in virtual DJ with the Pioneer DDJ Ergo skin. So the first thing we're gonna do here is come into config. Now I'm going to change my output to a headphone output, but I'm going to change my sound card to the ASIO. And here you see DDJ ASIO comes up, and my master is now one and two headphones on three and four. You can mess around with your, your configuration and your ultra latency ASIO later if you've got everything working and you want to tighten up your response. But for the time being, let's just go with the defaults. Click OK. So here you can see I'm moving the controller and things are moving on screen. That is perfect. So uh, now let's move to some music and see if we can load up a couple of songs. Okay, so one of the things you may have noticed is as I load up a song, it, uh, it defaults the headphone cue to that channel. So B was loaded second. Now you can see on screen the B is, is illuminated. I have, of course, the, the ability to control this off of the controller itself to change which, uh, which one is cued uh, or both. But uh, let's just preview that with my channel faders down, and I have some headphones plugged in. So let's change the volume here. And there, indeed, I can hear it coming up my, my headphones. And so if I took that off and I'm listening to my master, and you can see that here, this is the mix. And now I can cue up the other track. Significantly... Uh, different in uh, speed but there they are so I really didn't have to do anything other than assign my sound card and I was good to go with virtual LE so now the question becomes how do I do this with Pro well let's exit out of LE and install Pro Pro is available from the website or if you go into the, uh, the the configurations on LE you can download I think directly through there to get a 20 day uh, tester of Pro. All right, so the, the installer is completed and now since I've already got all my ASIO drivers and everything configured, I'm just going to launch directly into Virtual DJ Pro. Now if you're working on a trial, it would just jump you in here and possibly ask you uh, some information, but I do have a serial number. So uh, if you are a user, you can enter your information for Virtual DJ. I'm going to skip this for right now. And let's go into the config. And it has automatically pulled up my settings that I had previously used with uh, LE. So I really don't have to do anything here. I do even have the option of changing my, my skin around. Now I'm using the 1440 by 900 uh, resolution display, so I can change that. And uh, it sort of tweaked it a little bit to get a, better, a slightly better view. You can, in fact, use any of the other... Uh, the layouts, but you may find that some of the controls you have are not represented on screen. So for the purpose of this demo, let's just keep it with the DDJ Ergo skin at the resolution of my monitor. And of course, um, it, uh, it, oh, there it is, deck A, it is working, and I didn't have to do anything. And if I were to load a uh, track, and uh, Jazz Fusic, I already know I loaded, so the waveform 
Oh, that's uh, rebuild it apparently. But uh, there it is. So that's it for using it with Virtual DJ Pro. If there's something in here you haven't figured out or you still have a question, please do let us know. So for using it, the DJJ Ergo with Tractor, there's a couple things you'll need. And the first thing you need to do, of course, is to go to the prodjnet.com slash support website. Uh, you can link through, this, uh, through the forums or through one of the uh, regional uh, Pioneer websites. And on this site, you've got the ability to download firmware and a Tractor Duo setting file. Uh, sorry, Tractor Pro and Tractor Duo setting file. The setting file is your TSI. That gives you all the mappings for Tractor. And the firmware is required if, uh, if you want to use it with Tractor because it may be version 1.0, which was not compatible. And it's 1.1, which is required. So what do you do for that? Well, when you run the updater for the firmware... It asks you your language. It tells me that I've already using 1.1 because I've already updated once before. But just to show you the process, I can click on start. And it just takes a second for it to update the firmware of the unit. Okay, so the firmware update's complete. And I can see the lights on my DDJ are now blinking again. So when I launch Tractor, and this is 2.1.1, which is the version that's required in order for you to be able to use the Ergo controller. Uh, now, so you can see here, I'm running a demo. Uh, this is fine because it's only a 30 minute demo, but at least is the full version. It gives you access to all the features. Uh, what I'm going to do is go into the settings. And if this is the first time you run it, you may see a setup wizard. You can skip past that because the ergo is not located in that controller uh, list. Click the import button, find your TSI file from wherever you download it. Mine happens to be on the desktop. Click open. And the only thing that will be checked is the controller mappings. That's fine. Click OK. So on the controller manager, this is important because if you don't get this, it will not work. Uh, click DDJ Ergo MIDI for in and out. On your audio setup, you can select the DDJ ASIO. You do not want to select the DDJ Ergo Wasapi because it's uh, the ASIO driver is the, the better of the bunch. On your output routing, if you don't have it listing as uh, master left and right, it may be 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, the output monitor would be zero, uh, sorry, two and three, and the master would be zero and one. So let's close those and check that in fact, yes, it is working. Let's just quickly go and load up a song. Okay, so grab a track, load to deck A. Grab another one, load to deck B. And that is coming out of my my master. And take it down. That's my headphone cue. And there's my headphone cue. There's the master. So I do know that uh, everything is working and uh, all the controls are set up. So that's that. If you have any questions about how to use the DDJ Ergo with Tractor or the specifics of the uh, the mappings, uh, you can certainly uh, check out the support file that is included on the same website, the Ergo support page. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can hit us up in the forums. I'm Pulse, and thanks for watching.